Tuesday, September 25th. It is now 7.20 a.m. somewhere in America. And as we look outside, beautiful countryside. Of course, the sun is shining, the sun is rising on this side, so let's go to breakfast. Now let's take a walk to the observation car. Sleeper car gets uh, get coffee and water and ice. Oh, and uh, also orange juice. Somebody decorated this car very nicely. This car has been ref refurbished, as you can see. It's got hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Better lighting. In about ten minutes, we'll be right at the. Uh Minot, North Dakota. This is a 
refueling stop will be here for about half an hour, so an opportunity to get off, get off the train and look outside. So we'll do that. I'm gonna get some uh, office of readings in, and then we'll go take a look outside. It's a bit brisk out here. Danger, hazard, and train present extreme hazard. This is a refueling stop. We're in our car 731 right there. Well, that's where we're at. Even over yonder. It's a half hour refueling stop. around. Closed. That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, wow. Book rack. Isn't that neat? Exchange your books here. <laughs> That's so what somebody else said. We copied them. Yeah. All it is is a uh, copy. There's no fancy. Yeah. That's the bag. This, oh. This is where yeah, that's a copy of. The yeah, because I got the electronic version, but you know what? As a as a as a computer geek, you know what? Paper is still faster. So. Well, that's the thing is, uh, if you go to Amtrak.com on your smartphone, you can look at the same yeah. thing without uh, killing a tree. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just I got future reference. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. I got that. Alrighty, that's the Minot, North Dakota train station. There's the Empire Builder. From one end to the other. Is a bit nippy out here. Wow, this is my first taste of cold. Oh, yeah, here we go. 30. Don't 
miss it. Sleeping car, wait a minute, sleeping car in the back of the train, okay. Oh this oh yeah, the back of the the back of the train actually this is actually two trains. Uh, they split it because when we get to Spokane, they split the train south of the dining car. And I think, and then ha the half of it goes to Spokane, the other half goes to Seattle, so. catch it. It said 39 degrees. <laughs> Let's see if I catch it the next time around. I'll re-edit it and put it in the right place. This video brought to you by Tempur-Pedic. Don't miss it. And ceiling mattresses. 820 and 39 degrees. That's what they call bracing. Let's take a walk back. We are achieving relativity. We have achieved relativity. <laughs> oh, look at this. And now we're going a little bit faster. <laughs> look at that. That is so cool. Green. Horn on top. Greener. Now we're going. We should be passing the engines again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have your attention, please. Mark and I'm on North Dakota this morning. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everybody on board the Amtrak Empire Building. Folks, we're going to be experiencing some rough track throughout the day. The dust tracks must be working before we can go through the morning. That's kind of ruined my map over there. Rough track? Yeah. There we go. Now we're done. Also, folks, this is a family train. Help out with your inappropriate behavior will be tolerated. Damn. Ah. Why are they pointing the finger at us? Why are they pointing the finger at us? 